Friends, let's bring together an offering of our prayers, trusting that the God who has called us God's children, beloved children, is ever ready to hear our prayers. Let's pray. Loving Father, Mother, Heavenly Parent, Creator God, we come to you as beloved children, trusting in your mercy and grace, grateful for your unconditional love. We are so blessed, God, in so many ways. Your presence in the world, through our communities, and in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Your love for us, which enables us to love one another. For these things, we are profoundly grateful. We come before you with many prayers. The prayers that we continuously make of thanksgiving and praise and glory and honor and the specific prayers of this time and place for us. We think today, O oh God, of those who are sick and those who care for them, for those who work in hospitals and nursing home facilities, in places that have kept people isolated for their health. We pray, God, not only for their physical health, but for their spiritual health. Uphold them. Give them peace. Give them a sense of joy and meaning in each day. Help us to find ways to support and care for them. We pray also, God, for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones, who are separated and far away from those they would like to embrace. For people who are in facilities where there are no visitors, for people who have quarantined, for those who serve in our nation's armed services who are far from home and loved ones, for all who have made the difficult but right decision to keep their distance in this holiday season from those with whom they would normally gather. Bless them, God, and keep them ever close to your heart. Give each one of us the knowledge that the decisions we make to not gather now will give us the opportunity to gather with everyone present in the future. We thank you and praise you, God, that our amazing medical researchers and the people who do the work of medicine have developed these vaccines. And we ask that you help us as we seek to get those vaccines to people who need them and then distributed widely. We're so grateful that there is this hope in sight that we can beat this virus. While we grieve the loss of so many who have died, we thank you for helping us to focus our attention on the things that really matter. And we ask that in this season, you help us continue to do so. We thank you, God, for the messages you give us in the scripture and in the word made flesh, Jesus Christ. The promise of hope, the promise that we have of life, abundant life. The joy of this season and in our lives as your children. The legacy that you have given us to become the children of God, for that is what we are. We pray for those who are suffering in body or mind or spirit. We give you thanks for healing 
that has taken place among so many in our number. We thank you that through technology, we can still be together for worship, that we can still gather, that we can still share our prayers together, that we can still make our offerings to you for the mission of your church, which is needed now more than ever. Thank you for every heart that has come to this service and all the hearts that beat as one in love and worship of you. We offer these prayers to you in the strong name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.